Welcome to One Night at st at the Steez. One Night at the Steez. I was going to say One Night at Steez, but One Night at the Steez. It is the prequel, or the original game, to that pizzeria game that I played not too long ago. And after some time of waiting, I think it is now time to begin the One Night at Steez. I'm trying to remember what the damn game the pizzeria game was. I'll, I'll double check the store. Just one second. Ah, oh, yeah, it was called No Delivery. So, No Delivery was basically a sequel or spiritual sequel to this game. Uh, and we can just read a little overview of it. It says, You remember being a kid. You remember eating your first slice of pizza at the local pizzeria. You remember how the cheese would slip off the crust and onto your new jeans. You remember that one cute employee who refilled your soda a little more than the others. You remember running out of tokens for the arcade and smacking the machines when they didn't work. And you remember how one of the animatronics winked at you and proceeded to flirtatiously shake its hips at you the rest of the night. Oh, you don't? Well, on one night at Steez Pizzeria, something like that happened. So it's, yeah, it's a, as they explain it, it's a one night at the Steez as a JRPG with Dark Souls elements. But I mean, it's it'd be similar in gameplay, but a little uh, older than what No Delivery was, since, you know, one was more recent, and this one is the older version, but yeah. Souls-like gameplay, Earthbound, Mother 3-inspired graphics, inspired by Five Nights at Freddy's, music by Queen? Hmm. Strange sense of humor, cute pizzeria employee, and a pizza. So yeah, we're gonna get into it. I'm doing full screen rather than, you know, like, what is it, 4, four by... 4 by 6 ratio or whatever, whatever's the default, you know, square dimensions. I'm doing widescreen stretching, I don't know, some people may complain, but let's get into it. Hell yeah, it's been a while. It's Saturday night, 1980X. It's time for a pizza run. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now I know where Queen comes from. Hopefully, I don't think it would get demonetized. We picked up, oh, we still get... We still get trash. Good old pinball machine can't wait to play a game. It only takes real quarters. Weird child. Immediate byproduct of careless littering. Not cool. Fucking queen. <laughs> really? This this one just has the picture of a backdrop. Either it has yet to be determined or this is the best worst employee of the month. There's a picture of a thumb covering the lens. Try again next month, huh? This one has an old person still putting on their dentures. Gross. The plaque on the wall says Employee of the Month. It has a picture of a guy who must have sneezed when they took the picture. Beautiful. So there's some pink item there. Psst. Hey kid, down here, the trash can. Don't look at me like that. I got an offer for you. Because you haven't noticed the place is kinda, sorta, Covered in trash. Do me a favor and bring me some, and I'll make it worth your while. No worry, just come to any trash can, and I'll be at your service. Hmm. I guess I'll take the pizza. You stepped on a slice of pizza. The waste of pizza under your shoe reminds me of the revitalizing properties of pizza. You make a mental note to keep an eye out for any boxes of pizza left over from the dinner rush as they recover HP and pee pee. Pee pee hard from noticing that. But yeah, it's a, it's a very similar storefront. Like, nothing's really changed, per se. Piece of trash. Let's get fucking urine stains here. Plenty of colorful candy bars lie on the shelves behind the glass. Too bad they all cost real money. Looks like it could give way if it was hit hard enough. The latest model arcade cabinet. It's a great lure for those who want to see the rest inside. Too bad this is the only one that works properly. Hmm. I wonder if it can accept any of the trash I have so far. You want some vouchers? Can you use them for a free pizza club rank? For just ten pieces of trash. There's trash all over the place. But... Hmm. Wait, I can walk diagonally? Can I do that in the first game? Or the second game, rather? What's this now? Pizza slice! Three... Huh. Huh. So HP... I think... What was it? Like, HP was more in the double digits. I think. I don't think it went really that high. I don't think so. The sign says, Politely ask and pull to remove the signs if they are in your way. Do not use the A key. Mm. Ch -ch 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 -ch. A key. Oh, punch. Got a heavenly slice. What? 
Then they said heaven isn't a place on earth. Recovers 1,000. Damn. So I can punch. Oh. Huh. Huh. Interesting. So where does the lead? Oh. Can I save it? I don't trust this. I don't trust this at all. Just a, the clown. So cheesy. Give me that pizza. Let's try to go around the clown for now. You know, just the clown. Wait, the balloons. I think they're. I think the balloons can be enemies. Is this is like a. Hello? It's an old animatronic. The arms are actually tied to the chair. There's a label that reads, Bring along your clown dolls to set on the lap of our, of our very own mascot. The effort doesn't seem appealing. Perhaps it's a ending or secret ending. Maybe we should check the game store page to rem like tell me how many endings there are in the game. Because I want all endings, obviously. Mm. Wait, what? Clunk. A candy bar? Is it infinite or just two slots? Ah, oh, punching candy bars give me the shit. Does it break it though? The part where the money goes is all busted up. Doesn't look like it'll be a vent. Oh no. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Uh. A chocolate bar coming in at a good five inches. Who measures chocolate bars in inches like that? Just seems wrong. I don't know. Recovers 60 HP, which is shit, but pee pee. It's a pee pee healing. Heals my pee pee. For when pee pee soft. So I wonder if there's other things I can whack with my punch. If I can do it with the vending machine, I don't want to do it again. Unless, like, desperate. <clears throat> Hello, you murdering piece of shit. Hi, welcome back to the pizzeria. We're closing an hour, so you're free to do whatever. Just let me know if you need to buy anything or increase your pizza club rank. You could also save here, too. Please let me save. Save. I mean... I'm gonna have to live with breaking the one... You want to upgrade your... 50? So, I can do... Ten trash for one pizza rank, but tokens. Tokens are another way of ranking up, or is it a different rank up, or it's just... Hmm. Deuces? Shop. I don't have any tokens. Deuces. No, oh, this is an auto heal. Oh, that's cool. We're gonna try to collect uh, ten trash for the first level up, though. You want some fake vouchers, kid? Use them for free. Fake vouchers. Why fake vouchers? I'm gonna assume it's. I'm meant to just give them trash because I can't use it in this like I could in the previous game, or in the in the future game. It's so weird playing the second game and then going to the first one. It just feels weird. But anyways, we need to collect four more, three more trash. I want to know what he means by the voucher. Okay, our first battle, though. Upset Balloon with... Oh, which song was this? Why is it all Queen? Like, 8-bit versions of Queen. I, I know the lyrics, but... Oh, I can't remember the song, but I know the lyrics almost off by heart. Anyways, let's kick this balloon's ass, you fucking grumpy piece of shit. Uh, skill? Heal. Bash! The upset balloon. 50 damage. The upset floats in place. Yeah, get punched! 72 damage. Bobbling slightly. There's no effect on the kid. The upset balloon is slain. Five tokens, hell yeah. Soda pap! Fireworks. Got some fireworks, five pieces of trash for a pop. Hmm. I'm gonna assume the 
Signs says, don't forget to dump your junk. It clearly did not reach its intended audience. So, maybe I'm actually meant to punch the vending machine. Like, I don't know if I actually get real life money in the game to buy candy bars, or if the vending machines are just meant to be punched and that's it. But I'm gonna save all the other vending machines just in case a little bit in the future we find money. If we never find money, then we're just meant to punch them all, probably. And, uh, one more trash. And then talk to the dummy afterwards. Let's see about this rank up. Fake vouchers. Got a fake voucher. There's trash all over the place. Better get to it. How much does it cost now? Use them for a free pizza club. Uh. A counterfeit for a free rank up. Increase level. Kid is now a rank level double hit learned. So if I get more party members, we can actually increase level. There's a lot of games usually, RPG Maker games make it so you're like, like say the Fear and Hunger. Fear and Hunger, you do not level up. Most games usually get rid of the leveling systems just so they don't have to, you know, I think that it's just so they don't have to worry about scaling and uh, balancing, probably. Anyways, what about you? It's a replica. Upon closer inspection, there's a speaker in its mouth. Welcome to the Steez Arcade. Here we offer all kinds of games, but on the board and bzz, on the screen, bzz, we are not responsible for any items, money, or children lost while partaking in arcade bzz, activities. Hmm. No, some more balloons to. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, that. Fuck you. You can't just punch the balloon preemptively. Happy balloons. I don't know if I should trust the fact that there's. Yeah, hit twice. Happy... Hmm. Bobbing slightly. Very intimidating. I wanna also... Actually, I don't know if I should waste PP. Maybe I shouldn't, because these enemies are a threat to my knowledge. Like, why waste PP when I should save it for a boss? Like, if it's supposed to be Souls-like, that means it's meant to be hard. Wait, did it just say leveled up? Wait. What did it just say? I didn't see what it said. I'm concerned. Did it say it leveled itself up? Maybe get like the balloon. Frisky balloon. Do I need a restraining order? It's suddenly like a fucking balloon. Oh, wait. Oh, it attacked me for once. If you have it so like one of the other balloons are gonna be like drawn with like uh, an awoo face. <laughs> and then the balloons notice your bulge and starts rubbing against you. We need to make that balloon ee -ee 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 noise on you. Uh, that'd be a good potential. Hmm. Anyways, I don't know. They're not a threat, but I'll certainly be slaying a lot of balloons, probably. Ten tokens. But the only question is, if we're going to get multiple teammates and ensuring none of them die, mind you, we're going to have to be leveling them up, ensuring they don't die. Seems to be a list of machines. An empl any employee on the floor when a machine breaks down must do one of them. We can't afford rubber gloves this quarter, so it is best to exercise caution when reaching inside the cabin to find the problem. So don't reach inside without... Gloves? Maybe. Um, see, if HP and PP can recover, though, so I don't have to... If this pizza in is infinite, just use as much PP as I want. Hmm. Oh, I'll save it again anyways. But uh, with the whole thing in mind, Fireworks, I'm going to believe, is overpowered like it basically was in the second game. Um, so if I'm done, or if there's a max level, we just level everyone to the max, even though I'm sure junk is finite. Depends how much junk you get in boss fights and or uh, enemy fights. There's just so many things I'll have to think about, but for now, let's just keep it simple and save. Actually, well, we can't buy junk. Depends if eating pizza slice also gives us pop rocks. I just don't feel like we should waste tokens on items. Actually, plus skill, fearful strike. Official pizza merchandise, more polyester than cotton, kind of itchy. Kid plus 10. Plus 10 what? Plus 10 certain stats?
Hmm, since I think we can equip then, yeah. I'm gonna assume then it's uh, defense and attack will go up. Oh, there's a lot of things to think about. But I'm gonna focus on getting tokens just for leveling up, probably. Oh, wait, the balloons came back. Huh. Mm hmm. Kitchen employees only. Trash. Trash. It's zinc. Arguably where the real magic happens. Arguably. I don't know about that. Ah, you're familiar, Mr. Chef. You die in the future. Don't you know this is an industrial microwave? The magnetron here pumps out more than three gigahertz worth of microwave radiation. That'll take a block of ice and turn it into a pizza. Want to find out if the same will happen if you put a cat in? No, unless you got an extra spatula. We have nothing to talk about. Okay. Maybe I can recruit him in this game. If I decide to give him, find a spatula. Countertop. Spatula? 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 No. I don't trust this. Weird. It just... There's something very suspicious about that room. Maybe we'll find out later in the future. <laughs> Maybe. But for now, I guess we can literally, if need be, we can get more party members and farm the balloons for infinite tokens, so we don't have to worry about, like, you know, running out of token supplies. You're gonna need a show ticket. Oh. So how much does that cost? Mmm... No idea. But we almost can get a soft bite. Yeah, I'll save it one more time. I don't know if there's gonna be a point in time when I just like st having just st have, have to stop recording so I can grind the balloons. Not sexually, mind you, even if they're frisky. It's a frilly re replica animatronic. There are cheese stains all over it. Upon closer inspection, there's a speaker in its mouth. Uh -huh, playground. Don't forget to leave your shoes. Please keep your belongings, toys, and clothes at all times, because what's left in the playground stays there. Ooh. Maybe it's the first dungeon. Give me all your trash. Alright, first. First. I want some uh, power, so we're gonna buy that soft bat. And then... Hell yeah. Probably have to give, like, every employee, unless they're not allowed to have the baseball bat, like, maybe the chef, if we can recruit the chef, will have the special as a weapon, and he can't use it, and they're, like, uh, character-exclusive items, the only kid can use the two that she sells. Probably. That's something I could imagine. That's how it was in uh, Mother games. But otherwise, uh, let's go in the vents first. Wait. Oh, the puppet! Or at least the original version of the puppet. Before he turned all self-actualized. Just close your eyes and swing. Hits hard, but fairly inaccurate. Now I'll do a double hit. Nice. Man, I fucked him up. I fucked him up. But if I leave and come back, does he just show up again? So I can get PP and HP here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that'd be an easiest fucking way to grind. Just had to do this. Do this. No, as long as they don't miss. As long as they don't miss. Oh, he has double hit as well. There we go. No, the easiest way of getting tokens for now, damn. Trash. Hmm. Firecracker. I wonder if there's out of bounds areas that like there are in the second game. I'm gonna have to be careful about secrets. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> Spatula. It's a little rusty, but. Uh, 
Hmm, a little quiet. Hmm. Mm. Ball pit monster appeared. Hopefully it's not too strong. Oh dear. No. Okay, it's it just triple attack. It's too strong, I think. I'm not gonna I'm gonna avoid this area for now. Okay, well actually three hits. Hmm. Get, really? Shit. Um, we should be able to withstand it. I, I don't want to be in the ball pit till I'm a little bit stronger, though. Wait, what? What? I don't even know what happened. Last double hit. Come on, come on. Beautiful. And ten tokens. That's weak. That's really weak. Let's, uh, let's explore a little bit. Explore a little. before leaving. Piece of trash. Looks like skeletal remains of a kid. Poor bastard. Candy bar. Piece of trash. Let's see what's on that other kid's body. Fucking kids like literally what, like suffocating in these slides or tubes. Show ticket, hey. Double doors unlocked. Good thing we've entered here. Wait, wait, bleh. Hmm, I want to see what it is to defeat him. Let's prepare ourselves. Come on, fight me. Oh. No, oh, just jump scare. Okay. Meh. I shall fight you, Balloon. You are in my way. Frisky Balloon. Wait, the other skeleton is moving. Eh, I'll let it attack me. It's not like it'll kill me. Come on. I don't know if it does damage or not. I'm gonna imagine it does do damage, but eh, whatever. Eh. Um, is there anyone else I'm missing? I think that was everything in the vents. Mm, well, that fucker again. Eh, come on. I'll take the tickets. <laughs> Easy. And 15 tokens. Yeah, it's, that'd be easiest to grind that thing. Like, the three-hit monster in the ball pit is just 10 tokens. And the balloons are five per balloon? Or maybe it's like 10, even if there's one, two, or three balloons? Anyways, yeah, it's just... It makes healing so easy when there's just... How is this supposed to be difficult when you just heal yourself after every fight? I don't see how that's supposed to be hard. Despite there being no customers, there are two pairs of shoes still here. Spooky. Yeah, I already found their corpses. So, with that in mind, I have, I have more pieces of trash. I could trade it for fire. Fireworks is probably the cheap way of, like, you know, e easy OP victory. Um, but, yeah, yeah I, wanna, I wanna level up. And... Fart alert. Oh, yes, my favorite attack. Fart. You summon the wind within your bowels. Mildly inaccurate, but can poison. It's probably not as overpowered as the whoopee cushion, but, you know, it's, it's still my favorite. And we will buy the t-shirt. And... Hmm. Yeah, I guess it's fine for now. I could buy a level from her with the tokens, but... Actually, let's... Equipped to prepare ourselves. Body gear. Wait. It, in it increases defense, agility, and attack? What? I was expecting just defense. Fuck me, yeah. Can't complain. Let's save. I think that'll be it for now. I, I mean, I've been playing for 23 minutes. Eh, that's fine, that's fine. I'll do two, two, level, uh, two recordings, though. But yeah. Interesting game so far. Um, maybe not as polished as the second game, just, but we'll see how it turns out. Right now it's very bare bones, but it is the first game after all, but we'll see how things go. I'll continue the game, and I hope you look forward to more episodes of uh, One Night at the Steez. If you are enjoying, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber, and the bell notification down below for updates of my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time. Mm.